Hello everybody and welcome to Throwing Two Stars. So we decided to just talk about multiple episodes of Ninja Steel. Yep, we're, today we're talking about episode 12, Family Fusion. Episode 13, Ace to the Race. Ace and the Race, sorry. And the Royal Arrival. <sighs> and oh my goodness, these were actually good episodes. Well, the race one was pretty funny. Oh, with the Russian? No, not even that. Just with, fucking uh, Brody being an asshole. With nail shoe or something? It's just, like, in the in episode 13, there's just, like... It's like Brody and Levi become, like, evil or something because of, like, the shoe monster's fucking influence or something on them. So, they're, like, they're doing the race, and just, like, Brody just, like, walks up beside... runs up beside Preston and just goes, Isn't this fun? And just... Pushes him and he into the bushes. He just has this giant smile on his face, and I had to play that back like two times because it was so funny. Oh, don't, instead of Levi, don't you mean Aiden? Oh yeah, so we find out that uh, the actual Aiden is a robot and not you know, Aiden. a basher bot. Yeah, because because making that continuity. No, nah, no, nah, we don't want to do that. No, no. So. Uh, yeah, so we find out Levi's actually Aiden, and we actually got a reason as to why he named himself Levi Weston, because we thought, like, well, how do people, like... Know about Levi Weston if he, he doesn't know no. that he's Aiden. And so he... Ex and, oh, go ahead. Yeah, but, um, Levi's like, oh, Dad told us to hide, so I changed my name to Levi, and... I just tried music, and then I got popular. Yeah. We're still gonna call you Levi, though. It's like, but, but, but guys, that, that, he's Aiden. That's true. No, we're just gonna keep calling you Levi. It's like, but what? Oh, right, it's a kids show. We don't want the kids to be confused. Yep. I actually want to know how many children actually watch Power Rangers anymore. No one. With like the ratings with, are fucking low. With the massive like adult fan base, how many kids actually watch the show? I don't know. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Power Ranger Galaxy Defenders is better. It's funny, though. None of this shit would have happened. Like, we wouldn't have, like, had Levi found out he was Aiden if he didn't forget his fucking Ninja Power Star in the base. Cause he, this like, wouldn't have happened if we created the Fusion Star. That, too. Fucking Brody could have defeated Ripcon by himself. <laughs> like, no problem. Yeah, also, just, Raven Raven uh, was watching with us and uh, Redcaster, and he uh, he heard like Ripcon's voice, and just immediately was oh, just like his face when he heard it. It was like, yes, that is what they have done to Gabi Rizo. They fucking actually, ruined him because he actually enjoyed Gabi in in uh, Nin Ninja. Well, because he was voiced by fucking Garulu from Kiva, so he's awesome. God, such a good character. Yeah. Um, not a big fan of this design, though. But I'm actually shocked that they actually killed him. Yeah, they like, did. It's like, what are we going to do for a general now? We have Madame Odious, but it's like... I love her, though. Yeah, but Galvanax, it's like... Galvanax. Galvanax has done nothing. Literally, for these three episodes, he's actually done nothing. Yeah, no, he's been pretty, pretty shit. <laughs> He's just sitting there like, you guys are fucking idiots! I should do this, but... Ah, fuck it, I'll give you one more chance! Like, he doesn't even give an actual reasoning for, like... Oh, go steal the Ninja Power Stars. Why? I don't know, just don't... Just go do it. Because they're shiny and I like them. Like, Sludge, he actually had a reason. It's like, oh, if you steal the, the, the Energems, I'll let you go. Yeah, that's actually neat. Yeah. Like, you have an army of prisoners with you, so why not? Oh, spoilers, Sledge is coming back. Oh, yeah, we uh, we watched the uh, the finale Ninja Steel trailer where we see Sledge, but we don't know if he's coming back for the finale. We don't know how. <laughs> so you got destroyed. Well, because you didn't watch the finale of Dino Charge. Yes, I did. You showed it to me. No, that was past Sledge. Oh. That got blown up into the sun. Oh. There's still the Sledge that got sucked through the wormhole. Oh. The, uh, not wormhole, black hole. Oh, so he ended up in... 
in ninja, probably in the Ninja Seal universe, in which I actually thought of a good name for the Power Ranger multiverse, the Rangerverse. There you go. Yeah, Rangerverse. You know, it'd be cool if in Sentai they use Sledge's design. Oh, as a monster. As a monster, that'd be cool. Yeah, they they, they had a uh, uh, Dino Force Brave. They didn't they didn't use it now. There you go. Uh, Sarah made like a cookie machine that like you take a bunch of foods and it turns into a healthy cookie. Why? So like at one point she's like, oh here's your carrot and chicken cookies, and I'm like, ew. ew. I don't care if it's healthy or or not. I'm not eating a fucking carrot co chicken pe or cookie. But uh, just her speech before introducing it was like, this is definitely written for children. Like, very young children. And, like, Victor and Monty were being, like, fucking assholes. And oh, <laughs> they, like, goodness, Victor they're, like, and Monty. They, they take Monty's lunch. Victor takes Monty's lunch, and he's like, oh, let's put this in. Oh, broccoli. Oh, let's oh okay, put this okay. in. Let's and then I was <laughs> expecting Victor to, like, pull his pants down oh, and God. just, like, fucking put his ass on the tube that, like, the Victor's and just, like, <laughs> and a fucking giant deuce. Ah! <laughs> And just shit right into her machine. What? Why? Because Victor's that much of an asshole. That's why. And I'd fucking die laughing if that happened. <laughs> We're talking about the same person that got turned into a trophy. To, turned into a trophy in episode thirteen. Was tossed into a tossed into an aquarium. Yep. And hit on a plastic molding of a mermaid. Yeah. And then he like gets grown back or whatever and it's normal and then he's like wait, wait, wait. and I'm like what, are you gonna <laughs> fuck it or something? Like Jesus Christ man Also well, Ra while we were watching the episodes with Raven Raven noticed something mm -hmm. that we didn't actually click into our heads mm -hmm. the reason why um, uh, the Yellow Ranger and the White Ranger are a couple Oh cause they uh, cause Calvin and the um, Haley. Haley. You never remember her name. And it's Sarah Preston and Brody. And yeah, and Levi. Levi. No, it's because in the Ninja, Nagi and Fuka were really close because they went to the same school and they were like the same age, I think. That actually makes a whole lot of sense. It does. <sighs> when... But yeah, they like, they all, like, the fucking. I think Shoe Spike was his name or something like that. Yeah. And like his with, human form was like. With a very Russian accent. No, he had. He it was a full on Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. Just, I'm gonna destroy the Power Rangers! <laughs> <laughs> so, like. <laughs> yeah, no, that's literally what it, what it was. And, like, he turns into a human and, like, disguises himself as a human and calls himself a Ray Shoe Spike. And then he like yeah he controls Levi and Brody. He doesn't uh, he doesn't use his Russian or his Arnold impersonation because that probably would have just been too funny. Yeah. Like they probably funny. wouldn't have gotten any work done. No, no work done. No. Uh, Redbot was in an episode after not being around for a few episodes. And Woo. Did nothing. Did nothing, and even Mick didn't do much. No. no. That's the problem. They have characters, but they don't use them. Yeah. Oh, it's funny too. Like when, uh, like Victor was putting like the broccoli into the cookie machine. Just it just shows a shot of the teacher just going like, "Oh, broccoli!" And I'm like, "You're a fucking teacher. You're supposed to encourage healthy eating." You don't go, eh, broccoli," unless you like just don't like broccoli. But no, that cookie machine. It's like that was uh, fucking way too complicated. It's like why. And she wants to make money off of it, and then I guess when we missed out on it, sorry to date this episode, but like, we found out that John Dunsworth, uh, Jim Leahy's actor from Trailer Park Boys, passed away, so I was like too busy uh, Something about this kid, and like stealing like, a batch of the cookies. And then Princess Vieira of the Lion Galaxy fucking yeah, comes for, in. I, I'm shocked that they didn't call it the Shishi Galaxy. Or the fucking Zuoja Galaxy. The Zuoja Galaxy. There you go, Zooland. Because uh, Chip Lynn, he likes to hammer hammer those names. Sentai 6. Don't even mention Sentai 6. <laughs> or the Kyoryuja Galaxy. I think we already used the Ninja Galaxy. Did you said like the Rider Junkyard or something? Oh yeah, the, the Junkyard of Common 5. 
I think Chiplin's losing his mind. And then there was that one episode where Yoshi Sidarso was uh, whistling the uh, Kyoruju theme song. He was humming it. Or humming it, and he's like... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, Which I actually found that episode, and I was like, oh yeah. I can do that. Um... Uh, hell, even during, like, the, the race episode, like, episode 13, uh, like, Preston kind of dressed like Coda a bit. It was pretty funny. Oh, yeah. He had, like, a blue tank top. and Also, there were these, like, three gang members in a car. Yeah, I didn't know greasers were still a fucking thing, especially in 2017. In New Zealand. Yeah. <laughs> Can't so, forget the show's filmed in... Yeah, so Calvin's like, oh, I'm not going to be in the race because, yeah, fuck Calvin, you, no. I want to work on a car. So Calvin looks at their car, he ditches his girlfriend, girlfriend, in like the biggest air quotes ever. They don't even fucking kiss! Yeah, that's the thing. Well, because like, you can't have kissing on a fucking kid show. Why not? Because it's just... Uh, yeah, but it just Puts thoughts into their head. They could at least, you know, like, kiss each other on the cheek. No. Well, that would be... Oh, yeah, fucking peck on the cheek or something. Or, yeah. just like a, or just like a, mwah, like, kiss on the forehead. You know, like, love you. do what Nintendo does with Mario and Peach, never a full-on lip-on-lip. Yeah, just kiss on the cheek, and then Mario's like, whoa! Yeah. Woo! Mamma mia! I got my mushroom going. <laughs> there you go. Um, wait, wait. Wait a minute, I have to... I have to... There we go. Yeah, I gave you that for like 30 bucks. I was just like, I don't need a frog gun. Frog gun. Is that battery in it? Yeah. <laughs> I love this thing. Yeah. Because it's a frog gun! Yes. It actually uses it. It's called the froggy frog gun. In the yeah, they say, need you, glass! No, you fucking. No. no, this is can what they can do. Can I see this for a second? Can I see the frog gun? Alright. They go, Ninja Blast! No, 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 Wayne, you're doing it wrong. Ninja Blast! It's a... Right. Why shout your attack and then fire? Yeah, you're not Pokemon. Ninja Power <laughs> Smash! Use your bolts of lightning! Pikachu! Jesus Christ. Um... The action was like okay, like for what it is. There was a screw monkey. Oh, Drillcon. Drillcon was Drill his Con. name. Yeah, it was based off like the monkey wrench monster from the ninja. Because we're now going into the Chosat story. Line yeah, so we get introduced to Princess Viera, who's like the oh, princess of the this is where Lion the, Galaxy. Because apparently this is where like the good ninja steal happen. Yeah, and like she. But has that's the a line. problem when you have to go through eleven bad episodes. She looks so. St- Stupid though, because she's wearing like the Chozet's armor from the ninja as her like there, outfit. There will be an image like right there of her. <laughs> bam! Bam! There she is, Princess Fiera. You're ooh, you're <laughs> awful. It's like <laughs> that helmet is way too big for her head. Yeah, and just the armor looks just doesn't look well with her. Just it should have been a dude. <laughs> I don't know about Like, this that. is our, this is our Shishio. Like, th- this is Yamagata Yukio. But so, I have a like, feeling that she won't be around for much longer. No, watch she becomes, like, a new ally. Oh, watch her become the green ninja steel ranger. No, she become the lion. No, I actually wish she would have become her own original ranger and just have the lion ninja steel ranger or something. The lion, the fire ninja steel ranger. Yeah, the fire the, lion the, the ranger. The blazing ninja steel ranger. There you go. And that would fit in with... Blazing light! Well, then again, we already have, um... <laughs> ninja Super Steel or Super Ninja Steel? I don't remember what it is. But, um, Gekiatsu Dayo's American name is the Blazing Megazord. That's so bad. Everyone's freaking out because they're like, Oh my god, it's a Pandazord! Oh, wow! When's the Legacy Shogun Megazord coming? And apparently, it, it is happening. I'm still waiting for Legacy... Astro Megazord, whenever we get to it. That's gonna be like 20 years down the road, but I don't fucking give a shit. No, 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 Lane. For the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers, we're just gonna re release all the legacy stuff. No, I'm gonna say this now. If we do not get in spaceship by 2028, I'm gonna be so mad. For the 30th anniversary of Space? No, the 20th anniversary of In Space. No. Oh, no, yeah! 30th. Because next year is gonna be the 20. 2018 is gonna be the 20th anniversary. Anyways, I'm getting the legacy Astro Megazord. Because it's gonna be. Like, you know what they're releasing for the 20th anniversary of In Space, right? What? 
they're finally releasing Psycho Ranger figures. Oh yeah, no, I know that. For build a figure, Alpha, yeah. Surprised it's not like a build a figure of fucking the Silver Psycho Ranger, no, the fake one. Oh, they better make that a figure. That'll be a con exclusive. Oh, that's here at Comic Con, Legacy Silver Psycho Ranger. And then we'll just stop doing the Legacy line altogether. I'm sad. I want at least my Carter figure. I want Disney. Rangers, man. I know you do. I feel so sad. Like, I feel so bad for the Disney, like, for the Disney seasons. Yeah. Because nobody, like, looks at them. It's either Mighty Morphin or Go Home. Oh, yeah, when the Aiden bot fucking, like... Aiden. Like, A-Bot. It was funny how, like, we had this really cute moment, too, in episode 12 where, like, uh, like, Brody was singing this song for the talent show, and then, like, Aiden was gonna sing it with them, and then he found it to turn into be a robot, and they, like... What's funny is, like, the other rangers did not hesitate to fucking destroy him. They were just like, oh, she's a robot, fucking kill him, and just blow. Even Brody was still just like, like, wow. And then, like, his memories got transferred to, what is it, Gar? What are you looking at, Sonic? Because I realize Sonic's in frame. Um, and so, like, Brody, even Brody was just like, oh my god, like, his brother and like his his memories got transferred uh, back to actual Aiden, and then like he like goes out while Brody's doing his song, and then he like everything comes back to him. Goes out, which <laughs> apparently it, means the, the I'm hallway. gonna walk into the because like like here's the theater, like here's the ta talent show, talent show. I'm gonna go out for some air. Literally just walks behind the talent show. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, apparently there's no. Uh, supervision teachers for this talent show it's just all students every single student in the school looks comprising like, of looks like, like they're 15. all in their, no it looks like they're all in their 20s <laughs> and welcome to the aa meeting uh, uh we're gonna record some power rangers while, while doing so this. like yeah aiden's like levi's eyes glow and everything like that and then just like at the end like he glows and then just like he gains all his memories back and he's just like i know come and he goes, it's and then, like, Brody's singing his song all by himself, and then Levi comes in and starts singing it, and then that's when Brody realizes, Oh, you're my brother! I'm like, of course he is! He looks fucking like you! Like, the fucking... I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not trying to be racist or anything, but, like, you don't assume, like, this fucking random-ass white guy walks up to you and goes, Hey, I'm your brother Aiden! And then you immediately hug him going, Oh, yep, I know he's totally my brother! No! No! It's the other guy who you just met, who's a new Power Ranger, who was a ninja like you when you were a kid, and he looks like you! Remember. Same color, uh, fucking skin color, same type of hair, same kind of facial features. He's obviously your brother! Lane, don't forget, the greatest ninja in the world is a white guy according to Ninja Steel. Drinking my beer off camera because no brand deals in this show. Yes, no brand deals for the guy wearing the Star Wars shirt. It's Captain Phasma shirt. It's really nice. It's a Star Wars shirt. At least I'm public domain here. It's wearing out though. It's like Sonic. Um, but yeah, it was just really funny how like Aiden Bot just got fucking destroyed. I want more Red Bot. I want to see what happens to Red Bot. His voice changed to he's like, I am a robot. Oh yeah, I'm like. Right. Just... No, no. <laughs> that was with the princess in episode 14. Oh yeah, she turns into like this weird cloak or something. To and stop like... this kid named Billy. Yeah. I was and like, which, like, like, she just rises up. I'm like, wait a minute. I rewind it. And just do 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 do. <laughs> oh, and then uh, fucking... Get the cow? Okay, yeah. So, Victor and Monty decide, oh, we're gonna steal a fucking cow and, like, milk it, and I'm just like... Oh, she's selling cookies? Well, we're gonna sell milk. And I'm just like, did you just reference the Lionsgate movie with the cow? For those that do not know, the Power Rangers movie made a masturbation joke Where they... with a cow. Yeah, they jerked off a cow. It's like, oh, know. she was tense, so I milked her. He. You milked a he. He looks down and says, it's a dick. Oh boy, this is going to be one of those movies. That ended up, ended up being really fantastic. And then the movie was really fantastic. Till Crispy Crimps. Oh, fuck you. Crispy Crimps. No. 
They gotta go save the crisp. We gotta go to protect the Krispy Kreme. Well, what was making an area area around Krispy Kreme? What's the next movie about? Krispy Kreme. This is an important place. Wait, wait, next, next movie. All right, guys, we gotta protect the Chuck E. Cheese. We gotta protect the 7-Eleven. Protect those. They need the kids to eat their Slurpees. All right, everybody, let's head to the Tower of Toys R Us. <laughs> Toys R Us. That's, that's where, that's where the new turbo powers are. We gotta find them. <laughs> they just pick up a bunch of toy cars and they just look at them and then it's like, guys, we can use these as our new Zords. The thing, Billy is the one that actually made the turbo mega Zords. Oh, is that th or is that? That was what he was working on before he left. You, you do know that's what David. Like, I personally asked David Yost that. I'm like, oh yeah, where? Like, so were you a part of the Turbo movie? In like the first draft, yeah. Huh. Apparently, Billy was actually the one that makes made the, the powers. Yeah. yeah. Head cannon. Yeah, no, I believe that Billy made the, the turbo powers. It's like how I headcan that Billy now has a half human, half aquatar child. Yeah. So he fucked the white aquatar ranger. He didn't fuck the white aquatar. How do you know? Ranger? How do you know? Because he actually found love on aquatar with somebody else. No. Uh, he had threesome with the white aquatar ranger. <laughs> it's uh, morphin' time! <laughs> oh my goodness. I. Again, I am sick of Ninja Steel being like, it's morphing time. Lock it. Yeah, bro, he doesn't even fucking properly fit his yeah, ninja's Ra power star to his Morver. Raven's the one that noticed it. <laughs> yeah, Raven's Apparently a good observation. He moved the star, but then he quickly like lo like locked it in. Mm -hmm. And um, we had the Lion Fortress Megazord, aka a Lion Howl. Lion Howl. Yeah, Lion Howl. Yeah, from the Ninja. Yeah, so it's cool. It's just it's not as intimidating when it's going. <laughs> Nothing can take on the Fire Fortress ship. It's like, oh look, somebody took down the Fire Fortress. But there was a cool effect where she's like walking away from the Lion Zord or whatever, like all damaged, and then you see like its eyes are flickering because it's like damaged. So I thought that was a neat effect. The Lion Fortress and Megazord. Yeah. Who's the? The show's getting slightly better. Yeah, it's a Dino Charge. Getting tiny, just a little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, that good's gone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I hate it. Yeah, ch chances are the ending's gonna be shit. Because, shit. because apparently they're literally rushing to like Galvanax's finale. Which is the end of the ninja. Oh yeah, and then Super Ninja steals the fucking movie villain. Yeah, they're carbon copying Dino Supercharge. That's so dumb. <sighs> Chiplin needs to either get his act together, or I can pitch the Q Ranger adaptation for Galaxy. Yeah, Defenders. doesn't Mick become like a Red Ranger? Yeah, Mick becomes um, the Silver. Yeah, he becomes yeah, the he, Silver. Yeah, he becomes Aka Ishitaka, Ranger. and then or Aka Ninja. Yeah. And then, Which who's the other? Who's the third one? His dad. Oh yeah, his uh, dad spoilers, becomes. Spoilers! His dad comes back. Oh, I didn't see that coming. Oh well, no, way. it's not like he. It's not like he's like stuck in the ninja. But Dad, I thought you were, thought you, I thought you were stuck in the ninja verse. Got better. <laughs> uh, that you, you do know where that joke comes from, right? Uh, I forgot. It actually comes from Mash. Oh. It's like um, they thought one of their soldiers was dead. It's like salute, and like they're playing like the soldiers' national anthem. Oh, bah, 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 bah. No, it's like a different national oh, anthem, okay. a European mm -hmm. country. But he starts walking out of the tent. Turns out he's alive. Hawkeye turns to Trapper, Trapper being like, if I was dead, he got better. <laughs> That's legit where the joke comes. That's funny. Everything can come back to MASH. For those that don't know, I love MASH. Right, Raphael, who's ducking out of the way of an explosion? Cool. We, we were watching Turtles Forever before this. Yes. It's not the original voice cast for the 80s rain Turtles. Well, it's because of Union. Yeah. Union reasons. Um, but yeah, so, so we have these three episodes. Like, we got two really good ones. The first one being very emotional, which I enjoyed. I Family thought it was... Fa Family Fusion. It was good. Then we... Episode 12 was actually really good. And I was shocked. Yeah. Because I've been bashing Ninja Steel. I know, we all have. Yeah. But then, like... We haven't been watching it for like six episodes. I've been listening to the theme song. I'm like, wait a minute. 
Am I actually getting interested in watching the Ninja? And then thirteen episode. Ninja Steel. And then episode thirteen was a filler episode, but it was a fun filler episode. Yeah, we had fun with that because the monster was funny. And just it was funny seeing Brody as an asshole. Like it was hilarious. I, it, well, it's, I think the reason why episode thirteen was a good filler episode was because. I think it's definitely because of the monster. Mm -hmm. Because the monster joined into their thing. It wasn't just, hey, I'm a monster, I'm gonna come ruin your yeah, thing. Yeah, I like that they have like a human disguise and stuff. They should but do that like, more hey, monsters. let's go do this. I'm Rishu Spike. You know, instead of like um, Stone Dozer in episode, I think, 9 or 10. Yeah. Where, he, where he's all like, oh, I'm gonna create earthquakes. Why? There's no reason. No. And then episode 14 was a good introduction to, like, our new character, Princess Fiera, who, like, she's not bad, but, like, eh. Well, I hope she gets better. Apparently, Mick has a past with her. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Old girlfriend, maybe? More like, oh, you killed every single person on my planet. Ooh. Oh, yeah, because she, like, was, Sarah was trying to teach her, like, oh, you should be good and help people, and... She's, she's like, all like, I know is to just destroy all who get in my oppose me, and I'm like, all right, okay, okay. Um, yeah, that's it in a nutshell. Like, it's getting better. It's getting, I'm impressed. It's getting better. It's the acting. The the acting's still fucking bland as hell, but acting. Yeah. I came for the plot. I came for Sarah. <laughs> yeah. And Ripcon's dead, thank God. Yeah, Ripcon, I'm actually kind of sad that Ripcon. No, I do not want to hear that. Voice ever again! Man. Oh, they ruined fucking God and Rise, though. <laughs> now, now I just see, now I want that voice with Eric Cartman from, from South Park. But man. But Galanax. It's Cooney Frank. And I'm the coon. Oh, God. Yeah. Anyways, so this has been uh, Throwing Two Stars. I'm your host, Pink Caster Lane, and with me is also Yellow Caster Otto Guyer. Who said I'm Yellow Caster? You are. Okay, Yellow Ninja Steel Caster oh. Otto Guyer. I'm Pink Caster Ninja Steel Lane. I don't know. Um, and we'll see you when we talk about the next three episodes. Episodes... 15, 15, 16, and 17. Oh, wow, we're actually getting close to the finale. Damn right. Can't wait for that Christmas episode where they help out Santa Claus. I can't wait to not watch the Halloween episode. <sighs> we get to see Sarah in a hot fucking tight costume. We'll get to that. Yeah. Bye, everybody!